to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do my summer capsule wardrobe. Sorry if it took me a while to get this video out. This was highly requested by a lot of you guys. I think you guys really like my spring capsule wardrobe. So uh, let's just begin with the summer capsule wardrobe. So just to clarify, I don't have too many things on this rack. Really, I don't know. I think it's not that much, but there's also kind of a reason for it just because it's so hot in the summer and so you're not really wanting to use that many articles or pieces of clothing. And so that's why it's kind of just like a lot of one pieces on here, not so much like tops and jeans or tops and bottoms. And also I feel like I was just all about ease for the summertime. Lots of dresses lots of you know like I said one pieces and sets and really easy things that are still chic yet casual but also still really really cute as you guys already know like that's kind of where I always am at in my mindset when it comes to dressing up so some of you guys may have already seen in my boohoo video I stocked up on a lot of these uh, racer tanks in so many different colors so I have this really pretty blue one I have this really pretty sage one um, and then I also have these knitted ones that I've actually had in my closet for a while that I just always keep just because whenever these times roll around the season rolls around um, these knitted tanks are just really perfect for spring into summer this black one is from mango and then this other knitted one right here is from Zara and I also keep this just because I know they're not so easy to find so if you guys are ever you know if you find something that you really love on yourself that you really feel good and feel flattered in then definitely stock up if it's not too expensive and keep those items in your closet and also just take care of them so they last you longer so with these tanks I really love to pair them with a pair of shorts but really what I've been finding is I'm just staying away from blue denim shorts just because I like to look like I am a little more dressed up than I really am blue denim shorts are just a little bit too casual for the summer look that I want to like always be creating so instead of that I opt for a white pair of shorts this one is from Zara the nice thing about this is that it is like a denim material but since it is white it's just automatically not gonna look as casual as like a blue denim short and also in the details is it has this pleating on both sides in the front it helps these shorts keep its shape so that it looks a little more elegant um, and then this is just what the back looks like again I will link everything and hopefully these are not sold out so then here is how I'm just pairing it I'm just tucking these tanks into these shorts and then pairing them with like a little tiny heel or like a flat sandal or some kind of slide you can even do some chunky heels or high heels if you want it to be more dressy okay moving on so this romper I absolutely love this one is from revolve i was actually on the fence about it when i saw it on the model on their website but once i got it and put it on it was just a completely different story um so the reason why i love this number one the color is gorgeous i've really been into the sage color for the summertime i feel like i'm naturally just stocking up and gravitating towards this beautiful color number two the material is extremely soft and extremely lightweight it almost feels like silk so the long sleeves don't bother me. I wore this to brunch on a hot Sunday and I was completely fine. Not hot, not sweating or anything. Um, my love for rompers kind of fell out a while ago. So I don't purchase too many rompers. Um, I like rompers that are different that aren't just your basic looking romper. So for me, this is not a basic looking romper. And again, being a romper, it's gonna help you get dressed way easy just because you're not gonna have to think about what to pair your top and your bottoms, you know, like it just saves you a lot of time. So again, it has long sleeves, they're slightly puffy. It has a lot of vertical ruching going on, but then it also has a collar, which is nice. And then it has a plunging neckline right here, but it also, um, they have added clasps. So I don't know if you can, can see that. I'm actually not sure what the actual correct term of these things are. Um, I love the waistband right here because it just ends up cinching your waist. These shorts are slightly folded at the bottom. And then the back is just plain, just like that. And for this one, I just wore it with like a nice 
wide burn Panama hat as well as just some flat sandals and you look so elegant and so cute you look like you're in Saint Tropez on a resort or something like that um, but I love this romper something that I'm going to keep on wearing throughout the summer and then this dress right here is one that I've already just started wearing non-stop and every time I wear it and talk about it or post it, whether it's on my Instagram or on um, my YouTube channel, I just get so many questions about it. So this one is from ASOS. Unfortunately, by now it's sold out, but I will link alternatives that I find. So the great thing about this is that, yes, it is a shift dress. I'm not too keen on shift dresses, but I feel like lately I am just because with you know everything that's going on quarantine and a lot of people are still not going out this is kind of like the perfect dress that you can just throw on and feel cute in but not feel like you're overdoing it so it's nice because it has these wooden buttons that go all the way down and i always feel like wooden buttons always make an item look a lot more expensive that's the same thing that they did on these shorts from zara they added a wooden button right here and it just looks really nice if it were like a silver button, that would just completely, I feel like, change the vibe and make it a little more casual. Um, I also love how puffy and exaggerated the sleeves are. So if you pull the sleeves up, it's kind of going to be like this, where it's really just exaggerated and dramatic, which is nice. And this sleeve alone makes the dress a little more interesting. Um, it's just very breathable, very airy. You could use this as a dress. You could add a belt if you want to cinch your waist. You could use it as a cover-up over your bikini. So lots of really great uses and that's why this is in my capsule wardrobe. I've been really into the one shoulder lately um, and I think it's great, perfect for summer just because you're just having, you know, covering up one shoulder so your other shoulder is free. It's able to breathe but this dress is just really cute. So it just goes like that. It's just a one shoulder black kind of chiffon material dress. And then it has an elastic waistband right here. So it's going to be comfortable and cinch your waist. And then the skirt just ruffles. So if you want something a little bit more cute and dressy, this one is great because it can be worn during the daytime. I can picture this with some little black gladiator lace up um, flat sandals. But also this with some really sky high black heels if you're going out to a nice dinner. You could totally make this sexy by wearing that and adding like a little clutch. And there you have it. You have a daytime dress and a nighttime dress. All right, and then similar to this white ASOS dress that I just talked about, here's another shift dress. I don't love prints all that much, but I do feel like you always need a little bit of print in your life. So the way that I've been liking wearing this dress is with sneakers, actually. So this one is from In The Style. It has this little V neckline with these ties right here. I never really tie it up. I always just kind of leave it hanging. I like that look. The sleeves or the shoulders are slightly puffy, just like that. And then it is like a tiered little slightly ruffled um, skirt or hem right here. And yeah, again, this one is just really cute. Um, if you were tired of it wearing solids or white, because white is a color that I tend to always wear during the summer, then this is a nice change. But at the same time, still very subtle, so yes. This one I kind of like doing like a sporty slash girly vibe. And this brand is also really, really affordable. This is part of the Lorna Lux collab. She is also an influencer, I think based out of the UK, but her collabs within the style are always very cute. Okay, so next up, what I've been loving for the summertime is knitwear. Maybe if it's like more humid where you are, then you wouldn't want to gravitate towards knitwear, but in California, it tends to be more dry. So I love knitwear, especially knitted skirts these days. So honestly, I feel like if you were in a humid place, a knitted skirt may be doable, and then you can just pair it with like a crop top. That way you're not too hot. But yeah, that's kind of exactly how I like to wear them. So I can take this knitted skirt and pair it with like a brown bodysuit, something on the tan side with just flat slides, flat sandals, just to walk around with a little purse. I think it's a really cute look that's very elegant and cute and chic, but 
still very, very comfortable. These are super soft and comfortable. Um, but for this one, I just have the matching top. This one's from Zara. So I like wearing this together. And again, this is something that you could easily take from day to night. So I would wear this skirt, like I mentioned earlier, with a different top for the daytime with some flat sandals. And then for the nighttime, I would wear its matching top with some heels to dinner. All right, now matching sets are still a very big thing in my closet, especially for the summertime. Again, just like a romper, matching sets are gonna just make your life so easy just because they already come together. So this one is a Song of Style set from Revolve. So it's a top like this, and then it comes with a matching skirt. So I just like to tuck in the top to the skirt and that's a whole look right there and i just love this color oh but it's actually a skirt so even better skirt in front shorts in the back so you just feel more secure and more comfortable actually i don't even know what color this is it's almost like the color i'm wearing i want to say it's kind of like a cement color <laughs> um, but i love it regardless and i love this kind of pattern. It's like a little embellished all over type of pattern, eyelet pattern. And these are, you know, pretty pricey on Revolve, but I will try to find other really cute matching like short sets or skirt sets that I find. All right, next up, I have also been loving midi dresses just because they're very easy and they're very comfortable. This is a knitted one that I recently got from ASOS and I think they do still have it in stock. So it kind of has a high neckline and then it has this really nice knitted texture going on and the back is just kind of open like that. I still wear a bra with it, but also it looks really cute with like a belt. Maybe if you have like a nice brown belt, that would be cute and I would definitely dress it down with some flat sandals, but it also is really, really cute with heels for out to dinner. I just tend to go more towards max or midi dresses just because um, they just fit my proportions better. All right, next up. So I wasn't sure if I should include this top or not, but I feel like I've been showing it a lot recently on my TikTok and it's been looking really nice. I paired this with um, some white jeans on a little TikTok how to style white jeans video and it was like a really cute all white outfit. Then I also paired this with a pair of denim shorts, which completely changed up the whole look to make it a more sexy yet casual with denim shorts type of look. So I feel like this is a really versatile type of top if you want something a little more glam. So this is from the House of CB. I don't know if they'll have it still, but I do have a lot of really good alternatives that I will link. So it's actually a bodysuit. And it has a plunging neckline. This one doesn't have any clasps or anything, so you will have to be careful. Maybe put some tape or wear some like nipple covers. You can't really wear a bra with it. Um, the sleeves are beautiful, and then it has this beautiful tie um, right here. So whatever bottoms you wear with it, this tie, I like to just tie it in a knot instead of a bow. It just kind of hangs over whatever bottom you pair it with. So it just gives such a, I don't know, such a beautiful drapey effect that looks really really expensive I think if you come across something that looks like this for a top it's really cute for daytime and nighttime all right next up I have this little jumpsuit right here so I feel like jumpsuits can be a little bit too heavy for the summertime but this one is not heavy at all because it is made of this really nice almost like slinky lightweight very breathable fabric um so this one i had been eyeing for a really really long time on revolve the first cut they made of it was in collaboration with shay mitchell and i just loved that one but it was always out of stock so when I saw that they recut this um, and made another one of it, I just had to get my hands on it and it's perfect. It has adjustable straps. The length is not too long on me. It's perfect for my height, even though I'm only 5'1". And what makes this romper different than it just being like a plain old ordinary black romper is that it has this center tie right here, which really just cinches your waist, gives a nice like tie drapey effect, which I love. Um, and I love this for so many reasons. You could use it as a beach cover up. You could use it just to go out in, have brunch, go shopping, even grocery shopping. Um, but I also love it. You can kind of dress it up a little bit more with a lot of like chunky layered gold jewelry. Okay, and then next up, um, this has kind of been my uniform for a lot of my errands or a lot of my appointments. So since like a lot of things have been opening up in California, California, I have been getting a lot of things done from getting my teeth cleaned to getting my eyes checked. 
Um, and so I have, or even like getting my nails done and things like that, eyebrows. And so I have really, I don't know why, I just came up with this outfit, but you guys kind of inspired me since you guys have really been loving my leggings outfit videos on TikTok to just kind of try leggings out more. And so it's just so comfortable. And so that's just what I've been wearing to like my doctor's appointments and things like that. So this is kind of my uniform. I usually make my appointments in the morning and it gets pretty cold still or stays pretty cold still um, in LA in the morning. So I'll do these leggings, which are from Zara. And just like any white t-shirt, this is not actually the t-shirt that I um, have been wearing with it. The one that I have been wearing with it is like a roll sleeve ASOS one that I will link. I like that one just because um, the hem of it is rounded. And I don't know, for some reason, it just looks nice with this outfit. But any white t-shirt will do. This is a Frankie Shop t-shirt that has shoulder pads on it. So I'll do that with the leggings and then I'll take this like olive green khaki um, cropped jacket and throw it over. And that's just a really sporty look, really casual, yet this jacket kind of pulls everything together. Um, and I always pair it with some sneakers, just some white sneakers. And this jacket I love just because of the length, it's cropped, so it's like the perfect length, perfect size, whoops. And I did recently get this one from ASOS, so I believe it is still in stock. And then let me just show you up close. So it has like a stand-up collar, which I love. And then it has these giant pockets right here. And then it also has like a Velcro wrist that you can tighten if you wanted to make your wrist tighter so that it's not just kind of falling around. And I just love this outfit so much. All right, next up I put in a linen shirt right here. This is from ASOS. Um, the oversized or the more oversized the better. I think Jamie accidentally put this in the washer so it kind of shrunk a little bit. But linen is such a great material for the summertime and especially like a linen button down like this one. I just feel like it's so chic and it just looks like you're in somewhere in Europe vacationing. What I love about this is that again, it's so versatile. You can wear it as like a cover up. Um, you could pair it with just some jean shorts and tuck it in with some jewelry. And that's just a really nice look. So yes, if you don't already have a linen shirt like this, then I highly suggest that you get one. And I love the sheerness of linen as well. I don't know, there's just something about it that just screams summertime and then just gives a beautiful like sheer effect. Oh, and also what I've been liking doing is I just like taking these tops and also you could pair it with these little knitted mini skirts. Just tuck it in a little bit at the front or just wear it over your bikini top with the skirt, like kind of how I did it in Vegas. And I just threw this over it and it's just such a chic look. All right, I did want to include this cover-up that I got from Boohoo. It's like a black bell-sleeved cover-up, and it has these really long, exaggerated ties that go around the front of your waist. So it's just gonna give you a nice shape. And I have this one in white and in black, and I cannot get over it. If it had more colors, I definitely get all the colors just because it's such a good cover up. It's so, so, so lightweight and very sheer. So you're just gonna be able to use any bikini or swimsuit underneath it. Any cut of bikini or swimsuit too, just because it has like a crew neck. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's hard, like if you have a swimsuit or a bikini that has too many lines or weird lines going across your chest um, to pair a cover up with if your cover up is like a v-neck but then your bikini is like a one shoulder. So this one's nice just because it'll fit any bikini or swimsuit style. Just throw it over and it's really cute just because of these ties. And so this is definitely something that I definitely will throw on just to go in the backyard. All right, and I don't have that many pants on this rack. I really do have no pants at all except for the leggings, but there are gonna be days where you're just gonna want some pants, you know what I mean, instead of wearing like shorts. Um, so I am still a big fan of these really relaxed pants. So I'm still really loving this one from Aritzia. I recently wore this in a video and I paired it with like a cropped one shoulder top, a white one, and that one's really cute, or that look is really cute. Um, this along with maybe like this kind of top would look really cute together. This would look good with any type of bodysuit, even the ones from Zara. Um, and there you have just like a nice relaxed but still cute and chic look that is not going to be too constricting as opposed to wearing leggings or skinny jeans. 
All right, and then now I want to cover loungewear because I know that's still what a lot of us are wearing. I myself am still wearing a lot of loungewear at home. So I'm still a big fan of a lot of the Aritzia items that I had bought back when quarantine first started. For example, the biker short. I'm still a big biker short person for loungewear, um, especially since it's summertime, as opposed to wearing leggings around the house where it can get too hot. So I like to match in my loungewear too um, because I just feel more put together and I just feel more motivated when I match. So if it's a white um, biker short, then I'll match a white top to go with it. This is also from Aritzia. Another one that I have lit literally been wearing every single night when Jamie and I are just lounging around, done with the day, watching TV, is this set right here. Um, this one's from Victoria's Secret. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me wear like a purple version of this and a lot of you guys would ask me about it. I got all the colors. I got the black, the gray, the white, and the mauve. So what it is, is it is a fitted, knitted, whoops, okay, let me just do the top. What it is, is a fitted, knitted cap sleeve shirt right here and it has a matching pant just like this, kind of like a wide leg pant, almost like a culotte. So it's not gonna be a full length pant, which I like. And it has a drawstring right here. So I don't know if you can see that it's knitted up close, but this set is so comfortable. And I also feel really presentable in it just cause if like the doorbell were to ring and you know, I were to see someone, I wouldn't be so concerned with how I look. I still feel really, really chic in this. Could definitely wear it all day to work from home but I just love this for lounging and it goes everywhere with me even on road trips so I'm hoping that they still have it in stock last time I checked it was all sold out um, but I will also go through and find some really good alternatives oh and then I forgot to mention the dress that I have on right now um, so this was supposed to be mentioned when I was talking about dresses but yeah this is just another shift dress again that I love so this is another reason one that I got from ASOS so I do believe they still have it in stock um, I love this like yellow buttercup color then I also love the eyelet detail similar to the Samo style one that I showed you guys earlier and I love the sleeves how just like exaggerated they are so so cute um, it is a shift dress like I mentioned but I just want it a little more shape and also it's a little bit too long for my liking if I don't add a belt and then this is just what the back looks like and I obviously just paired it with some heels, but this just looks really dressed up on its own, so you don't really need heels. It just would look good with any nice flat sandal. These are kind of the dresses that I'm going for. This time it's all about finding pieces that are easy, that are breathable, that are lightweight, but that still have that unique look or twist to them to kind of give it and make it a little more chic. So that's pretty much it for this summer capsule video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Let me know if you did in the comment section below. Um, and be sure to check out the description box for any links if you're looking for any of these items. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I just wanna hold